Saudi Arabia is preparing itself for an explosive growth in the number of visitors, whether it's those coming from the Hajj, or it's the, from the burgeoning tourism industry, or even business as the kingdom opens up like never before. Well, of course, that means more aeroplanes, more aeroplanes need more maintenance, and no wonder then that SAEI, the kingdom's MRO provider, is building on a 900,000 square metre site to build not just the region's largest MRO village, but actually something that competes with the rest of the world. Its existing MRO facilities on the King Abdelaziz International Airport at Jeddah are stretched to the seams following the parent company Saudi's rapid expansion. The facility we're in today is over 40 years old. Um, it's, it's a capacity game when it comes to MRO. So this facility was built when the fleet of Saudi was between 45 to 50 aircraft. Fast forward to today, the fleet is over 150 aircraft, 144 plus, reaching 150. And with Fly Ideal, it's going to surpass the 200 mark in three, four years time. Definitely, we need more capacity. We need more hangar space here. Going to the new place is tremendous to us. So whatever we see here today, it will be 18 fold, times 18. We'll have 11 hangar spaces available in the new MRO village, which is close to a million square meter, 904 to be exact. That place takes to up to 16 hangars, so we still have almost 50% more increase in hangar capacity. It's not only buildings and number of buildings and hangar space and apron, no, it's how you do the business then. How do you leverage the back chain or the backbone, which is the supply chain, just on the back of the hangars in front, and in front of that will be the aircraft lined up. That synergy by itself going to have us an enhancement between 30 to 40 percent in terms of productivity, in terms of efficiency. So we're very looking forward to it, to be honest. The whole scale of the MRO village is astounding, with hangars catering for four wide bodies, and others for four narrow bodies, and one that can take two A380s side by side for line maintenance. The plans include a separate aircraft washing facility and a paint shop, and there's a clear strategy behind the build. And at the heart of the plans, there is light at the end of the tunnel. This is going to be the largest engine test cell in the whole of the MENA region. It's going to be rated for 150,000 pounds of thrust. And that, by the way, is bigger than any existing engine in the world today. Yes, this is a very unique building. It's about 127,000 square meters which compares to any other major MRO I have seen worldwide. So all the big players on the market um, are very comparable. What makes us unique, we have designed our space to cope with that many engines, whereas the others typically have grown and added on their buildings to, you know, to establish an MRO this size. The Jet Propulsion Center expects to ramp up to 250 to 300 engines a year. That's not far short of one a day. And add to that 500 APUs following the deal with Honeywell. The next capability we're building is helicopter engines, and that's also about um, 250 to 300 helicopter engines per year. Basically, right now we are focusing on, on GE, on the GE90, on the, on the CFM56. But we are basically built to, to handle any other engine model also. The people are at the core of the design, whether it's space for the 26 technical workshops to two beautifully designed mosques, including one in a central courtyard at the JPC, allowing engines to flow around it during the overall process. Oh, and there's new offices too. Right now we are around 200 employees, mechanics and, and engineers, support staff, and we're going to grow to about 1,500 within the next seven years. And we have that space and, and room to grow, which is pretty unique. Diversity is a key target for the growing business. The company is keen to see more women take a fast track to engineering jobs. The new innovation centre is welcoming collaborations with universities and SMEs, and that's a cool place to start. We're massively excited for, for that piece. To house an innovation centre, not for maintenance by itself, we're looking at it from the ecosystem of aviation in the region and in the kingdom, it's locally and, and actually region and we're looking to become a catalyst when it comes. We're defining a set of space 
where we could have the different aviation key players to come and look for new ways to do things. And no wonder SAEI can't wait for that transformation to take place and to move to that MRO village. They've already been a great regional player, but this really opens the door to a global stage.